So for some reason, I don't really know why, uh, at a uh, confluence of events, I found two great Hilbert space books at the same time when every Hilbert space book that I've either read about or have, and I think I have one or two, uh, is unreadable to me. I think there's a book by Helmus on Hilbert spaces that it's got that 1950s notation that just makes it completely impossible to understand, at least to me. Uh, but yeah, these are great. Uh, I think these would have been a really good pair of books to have towards the end of my analysis deep dive. Uh, I wouldn't have done them, but I would have at least read some of them just to understand where I would be going at some point. Now, I had to s stop that and go into linear algebra, but once I get back to analysis, which I plan to, uh, these two books are definitely going to be on my read-to list. I already have a very long list, but anyways, they're definitely added to that list. These are perfect for what I want to do. Uh, this one is a shorter, more introductory book. Uh, they both say introduction, but I think this one uh, does that introductory job better. This is more like a full textbook. Uh, I'm not sure if I would do just this book, use this book as a reference, or do them both, but definitely this one for sure. So let me just discuss the first one, and I need to remember to also uh, go and discuss the second one because, yeah, I'm known to forget things. Yeah, so here's the table of contents. Uh, of course, as you read inner product spaces, there's some linear algebra in here, uh, but really, really, uh, I think the best way to do this book would be to do some Fourier analysis, some ordinary differential equations, and some partial differential equations, those three subjects, and then jump into Hilbert space, and then jump into functional analysis. I think that would be like what I would like to call my ladder. Uh, I, I could just read this book and start functional analysis, but I don't think I'd be able to appreciate it as much even though um, I know enough differential equations to be dangerous, uh, I think it's more thorough to do the, the, slow, the small rungs in the ladder. Yeah, linear operators. Yeah. Green's functions, which I did some many years ago, but I forgot all about them. Um, I'll just leave it here, leave the table of contents for you to pause and uh, take a look. I remember meromorphic the term from complex analysis. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll show these pages if you want to stop them and read them. So it's intended for an undergraduate audience. That's, I think, really good. Uh, yeah, so this is what, what, I, uh, what I plan to... The, this book and the other book are the ones that I want to look at and or completely read on my way uh, to functional analysis which will take a long time from here to get to, I think. Inner product spaces. I'm not gonna page through the whole book as always, but just showing you a few pages just to, so you get a feel. So it's got your usual fare of theorems. It's got exercises in the book, uh, you know, in the middle of the text. I don't particularly like that, but if, if it happens, it happens. It also has some examples, it has worked out examples. And also one thing that I like about the book is it's got worked out examples. I mean, uh, answers to some, uh, to some exercises in the back that I find always very helpful for self-learning. Some of these concepts I remember from Wade, uh, the last chapters of Wade, and also from Complex Analysis. But um, definitely I would like to arrive at this book very fresh with uh, some differential equations work and some Fourier analysis work. Yeah, a few appendices. Then references, you can pause it and read them if you like and then some answers to selected problems. Not that many, but it's a short book. Okay, and then I'll talk about this other book, which is the one that's got the most content. And uh, it's really an engineering book, which is, I think it's great in my case, because applications for me, having done engineering, having done physics, 
uh, really make me feel comfortable, feel at home. And um, yeah, Norm Director Spaces, the La Vega Integral. Yeah, just all these chapters are just, I, I look at them and I'm like, yep, I want to do all that. Integral and differential equations, then PDEs. And no, I don't think this book would be itself the PDE book that I do. I, I would like to, I already have some nice uh, ODE books, Ordinary Differential Equations, but I would get me a, a nice Partial Differential Equations book and do that before this one. And I also I already have a couple of Fourier Analysis books, although one could never have enough of them. Yeah, so this book has everything I think that I need. It's got examples, it's got a lot of the discussion of the theory, uh, it's got proofs to theorems. It's got lots of problems. Lots of problems. And then, I think it's got answers in the back. I'll, I'll get to it, but I want to show more of this book, just in case uh, it's useful to you. Quite a find, I think. I wish I'd had this book two years ago, just because then I would have been looking at it as I read analysis. Especially when I read the, uh, Fourier, uh, uh, the Fourier theory in Wade. Then let me go to the back. Yeah, it's got a lot of applications. It's got quantum mechanics, as you saw, right? We went through that. Mathematical foundations of quantum mechanics. Of course, there are whole books that are this very subject, which, but when I learned quantum mechanics, nobody ever told me anything about Hilbert's, Hilbert spaces. So I would love to do quantum mechanics in a much more mathematical way this time around. Then, yeah, hints and selected exercises, precious for a self learner. It's got a big bibliography at the in the back. Of course, Paul Dirac's uh, Principles of Quantum Mechanics. The saying goes, uh, he did not learn quantum mechanics from writing it. And that's why, to me, it was completely unreadable. Because you really, really needed to know. It's just a very cryptic book. So there you have it. Hilbert Space Books. Two of them.